Hi everyone, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what are some of the messages from your future self to you. So these are your messages that your future self would like for you to know from about five or so years from now. So this is a reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most. This is a reading for those of you that need it the most. If you are after a personalized tarot reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email is going to be listed just below the video. Otherwise, let's take a look and see what messages does your future self have for you. future you what's going on with all of these swords energy hmm? bottom of the deck is the three of cups your future self would like to know i uh, would like for you to know that it's really about the little moments in life it's little it's really about the little moments that you have with your family with your friends with people around you who appreciate you who appreciate your value who see your worth it's about those tiny little moment it's about watching the sunrise watching the sunsets it's about you know having your favorite cup of coffee it's those it's appreciating the little moments that you have before they're even gone your future self and keep in mind that the three of cups is the energy that crowns your reading but your future self would like for you to laugh would like for you to laugh as much as you can especially with people around you who again people around you who who love you people around you who choose you and you choose them those are the friendships that are going to stay together people who accept you for you people who care about you okay close friends whom you share a bond with these people these type of energies are the one that you you need to fight for this type of person is a type of person that is worth fighting for don't let them go for any people that have left your life or any people that are on your way out on their way out for the friends that have left hopefully you're still on good terms with them um, if not, just appreciate, appreciate their, uh, appreciate the presence or the role that they've played in your life, okay? Because they have influenced you and they did take a part in a chapter. They did take up a part in your book, okay? They took up a role in your life, in your on your journey. So there may have been a chapter, there may have been several chapters, some may, merely maybe just a sentence or even a paragraph but they did they did take up a part in your life thank them okay thank them for being your friend thank them for playing whatever role they played and for just being a part of your life and thank them for um, helping you grow helping you evolve and helping you mature your future self hopes that you still stay close with people around you, especially people who appreciate you. You still stay close with your family. It doesn't matter what they say or do. At the end of the day, you know, they're still your family. Don't let an argument, don't let a misunderstanding, don't let that get in the way. Don't let that stand in the way of talking to your friends or talking to your family. Uh, 
um, your future self, this is a little specific, but your future self hopes that you stay close with your sister because she is the closest sibling you have or maybe the only sibling you have. That's a very specific message. Um, although you may fight or you may disagree from time to time, you both really love each other. Your future self hopes that you find someone, that you find someone whom you trust, someone who's always going to be there for you, someone who is going to take care of you, someone who's going to protect you, okay? Um, your future self would like for you to know that relationships, connections and bonds, they, they, they stay strong because only because of trust, because of loyalty, because of the strength to hold on, the strength to fight through whatever it is that seems difficult or seems hard to face. Your future self would like for you to know that the pain that you're healing Right now, whether it's from a broken heart, whether it's from a broken bone, whether it's from the ending of a relationship, a romantic relationship, um, the ending of a friendship, or whether it's some emotional pain, whatever the pain that you're feeling right now, whatever the tower moment that you've experienced or that you're experiencing, your future self would like for you to know that you have a you have a heart and you have an energy that is impenetrable, okay? You are growing through the pain that you are going through. This pain is going to be very useful to you someday. And this pain that you're feeling or this pain that you've been experiencing is helping you to grow into a much more stronger person because again you have an energy you have an aura or you have a heart that is impenetrable your future self would like for you to know if you're experiencing a broken heart understand that you will learn to open up your heart to someone special in the future and you will let this person in because this person is going to love you Finally, the way that you deserve to be loved is going to be your protector, is going to be your provider. This person is going to make you laugh just that little bit louder and make you smile just that little bit longer. Okay, and you will open up your heart to this person. Your future self hopes, they hope you step out of your comfort zone. That you aren't scared to fail, that you aren't scared to try something new, even if you're not very good at it, that you risk it all, that you do it all, that you take the chance, that you take the risk, that you do something different, because that's going to be exciting, that's going to push you outside of your comfort zone, that's going to help you grow, and you'll never know unless you try, so your future self wants you to be a little bit more outgoing, okay, even if you are someone who's a little bit introverted right now and is struggling with that um, you sometimes you just never know what you might end up liking and sometimes you end up liking something that you never thought of liking your future self wants you to be proud of the chances and the risks that you took because it's, it's made you a stronger person it's made you a better person and you're never going to grow until you try new things and step out of your comfort zone Your future self hopes that you're not the same person that you are now at the time of the reading. Because that means that you wouldn't have grown. That means that you wouldn't have experienced new things. It, it means that you wouldn't have met new people or stepped out of your comfort zone. Your future self wants you to learn to trust. 
even if some people are going to break that trust, even if some people are going to betray that trust, take that chance. Trust and believe in yourself. Trust and believe that everything is going to work out fine in the end. Your future self does not want you to look back and regret taking, not taking the opportunity, okay? Um, they don't want you to live your life with regrets. Do it all if possible. Your future self wants you to know that this tower moment that you've experienced or are experiencing and this pain that you're experiencing, it's, it's shaping you into a different person. And your future self can only hope that you're allowing this pain to do what it's here to do for you, which is to transform you, to shape you into the person that you're meant to be. Your future self wants you to do it all, wants you to do it all if possible. Travel, love, cry, laugh, experience life because it all comes down to the little things in life. It's those little moments that make life memorable. No one ever really remembers their whole life, but those moments... Your future self genuinely hopes that you're truly happy. That you're happy with where you are in life. That you're happy with yourself. You're happy with your choices. You're happy with your friends, your family. And that you're successful. Successful with your, with your goals, with your accomplishments, with your career. Your future self hopes that you end up happy no matter what no matter what storms you have to face because your future self wants you to know that this is this storm that you're facing is probably not going to be the last storms will come and go but your future self wants you to know that some storms don't come to disrupt your path they don't just come to cause and wreak havoc okay they come to clear your path and that means sometimes removing certain people or certain things from your life because they serve as obstacles your future self wants you to express and not impress others okay so express yourself if you are if you are an artist a writer or if you're an artist listening to this your future self wants you to express yourself okay make sure that the work you're putting out there is all about expressing who you are not impressing people around you life's too short for what ifs or possibilities your future self wants you to make choices make decisions and be confident in your choices so take the risk take the risk take the opportunity meet people okay connect with people make a difference in the world your future self wants you to change your attitude that's very important change your attitude because attitude is everything pick a good one and you your future self wants you to know that you are someone who's going to end up impacting others with your words and your actions your future self wants you to make the choice Choose to be happy, okay? Choose to be happy because there's there's a lot. What's happening right now is changing you. Your future self hopes that you transform this pain, this hurt, this emotional um, sorrow, this suffering into, into art. Okay, into art, into words, into pictures. Because your future want, self wants for you to know that you're going to remember a few things that are happening right now in particular at this point in time in your life. You're going to remember for the rest of your life. Your 
future self will want you to remember how it's going to feel to see your written word in print for the very first time. Your future self wants you to know just how proud you're going to feel. And your future self will want you to know that it's proof that you exist. Your future self wants you to remember the hard times. Don't forget the times that you've cried on your way home from work or the times that you haven't been able to imagine traveling to countries or wondering if your life is just limited to this. And just not being able to get the things that you want because maybe you don't believe in yourself enough or you didn't, don't have enough money. Your future self wants you to remember the hard times because that's going to be important. Because the way that you're feeling right now, the hard, those hard times, those experiences, those struggles, they're going to be distant memories. They're going to be nothing but distant memories. Your future self wants you to know that being uncomfortable is progress. That sadness is really grief disguised as a friend. And that you're doing, you're actually doing better than you think. You are. Your future self really is emphasizing um, taking action. Taking action, following through with your decisions, with your choices. Not rushing, nothing. Your future self wants you to know that nothing should be rushed. Okay, especially the little moments. Because you never know when you are creating a memory. You never know when those little moments that you're experiencing. And it, it may just be those little moments in your everyday life. But you never know when those little moments are being created into memories that you're going to remember. So nothing, you should, nothing should be rushed. And remember that. Remember, you have to step outside of your comfort zone and that you need to take risks, you need to make choices. You'll probably end up people that are, you'll probably end up meeting people that are going to hurt you or that are going to betray you. Um, but you cannot control other people's actions. All you can do is control how you react. Your future self wants you to make, make choices, act, and remember that you can always go back. Your future self also wants you to communicate with him or her, okay? They want you to, they want you to talk, talk to them or even write them a letter from time to time.
your future self wants you to know that this storm that you're experiencing, this turmoil, this anguish, this sorrow, this this challenge, this turbulence, this tumultuous experience that you're experiencing is helping you, is strengthening you, is growing you, but it's helping you discover who you are. And that one day you're going to look back from a healed place. You're going to look back and look at this experience through healed eyes. Or if your heart has been broken, it's going to be patched up. If your bones have been broken, they're going to mend. Whatever this is, you're going to look back at this experience through a healed energy. And you're going to leave this pain behind. But in the process, there will lie an opportunity. Only if you're really open to it. There will lie an opportunity for you to discover yourself. Only, only if you're ready and if you're willing to do that. It's not going to be easy. Your future self wants you to know that your self-discovery is coming at a it's coming at a cost and it comes to you as a light in your darkest hour in your darkest moment it's giving you a chance to step up and discover what you are truly made up of and your future self wants you to remind to remind you that you are impenetrable okay you have an impenetrable heart an impenetrable soul an impenetrable energy about you you are being shaped by everything that you're going through you could even your future self also wants you to know that you possibly could even discover a calling that comes from whatever it is that you're going through It may feel what you're going through right now might feel like an isolating experience, but you are not alone. Okay. Um, you have people around you. You have people around you who love you, who care for you, who, who choose you just as you choose them. Your future self wants you to take time for yourself, okay? Um, because there's, I feel like it's been a crazy year. It's been a crazy year or a crazy last couple of months or a crazy last couple of years. Maybe friendships, connections, relationships have been tested. Your strengths have been tested. You just have wants you to learn how to honor and respect yourself and your body. Don't settle for easy. Don't settle for easy because life's too short. Stop stressing so much. You miss beauty. You miss the beauty in life when you stress. Are you stressing about money? Because money is just a number. Money is just currency. It comes and it goes. Love, connections, that's what it's all about. Your life is a gift. Your future self wants you to open it, receive it, and enjoy it. 
and share it with the people that you love. Share it with the people that love you. Despite the constant frustration that you're feeling, you're going to shine. You are going to shine and you are going to come out of this. As you'll continue to as you'll continue to grow, you'll also continue to get better and you'll also continue to get more answers. You're on the you're on your way, maybe slowly, but and maybe you've took a bit of a detour, but you're on your way to making your dreams come true. Probably. Your future self wants you to know that all the puzzles of the pieces have fit. All the paths that you've taken have led you to this moment here. All the successes, all the failures, all the all the beautiful moments, all the heartbreaking moments, all the risks you took or even the ones that you didn't take, everything led you to this moment. You are where you need to be. Your future self knows that you have risked yourself and in the process change and growth is taking place. You are a butterfly now ready to emerge. You're a butterfly now ready to take flight. Whatever or whomever you're struggling for is what you need the most that's how you know because the things that the things that you love the people that you love the things that mean the most to you are worth fighting for and those that aren't just let them go let them go just let them Your future self wants to remind you again that it is the little things in life. It's the little moments. It's the sunshines. It's the sunsets, the sunrises. It's the morning cup of coffee. It's it's whatever you want it to be. It is those little moments that create memories. And that is the true treasure. It's the little things in life. So your future self wants you to get up, get out there, and make those moments count. Make those moments count because you never know. You never know when and with whom you're creating a memory. And those are your messages from your past self to your future to you. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Keep shining your light and bye for now.